This is just a test of that 18 watt low pressure sodium lamp on a workhorse 2 ballast that I just got this morning and so far so good. By the way, um, thousandbulbs.com seems to have a corrupted version of the data sheet chart thing for these ballasts. But for an 18 watt low pressure sodium lamp it uses diagram 3. It, it doesn't include the diagrams but that basically means that the two red wires are connected in parallel at the lamp holder. Or recommends before, but I've got them going before that with a jumper wire, but I've got them going to the same terminal and I can to be okay. And it's definitely warming up much faster than it did on the four lamp um, F32 T8 ballast just because it's got its proper drive current now. Seems a bit brighter too, but I'll test that tonight. Yet another test of that uh, 18 watt low pressure sodium lamp, and it is fairly bright. Which you'd expect. I mean, not screamingly bright. It's the uh, only the second lowest power low pressure sodium lamp commercially made, and the lowest currently made. But you know, 1,800 lumens ain't bad, and it really helps having the proper ballast for it, um, which is a full ham workhorse too. For those of you who might be interested, and um, helps. Given that this drives a lamp with 30 milliampers instead of the 265 milliampers, which I did verify with an oscilloscope. Um, and a shunt resistor on the other ballast. So yeah, given that the lamp's running at now about, you know, 18-ish watts. Probably maybe even closer to 19 watts. Um, and uh, instead of um, about in the 14 to 15 watt range, producing effectively double the light because they really need to uh, come up to temperature in order to produce a decent amount of light. So yeah, it's effective. I just find a place to get more of these lamps for less than 30 bucks a pop. Although I did order another one from uh, lnlightbulbs.com just as a spare.